What's up again, Hollywood Horror Film Club, Ghostface, and Michael Myers Collectors. Thank you for joining me here on the channel for another video. This time for my Scream 1996 movie review. But before we do that, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Hit the bell notification and be notified when I upload new videos. Hit the comments below and share these videos with everyone you know so we can keep making more horror content here on the channel. All right, like I said... Um, and on, uh, in my post for the net, for the second teaser trailer for the Ghostface of Scream fan film, it says that here on the channel we're going to start getting pretty much, everything's going to start becoming Scream. Y'all have Michael Myers stuff here and there, but mostly everything's going to revolve around Scream and Ghostface uh, leading up to my new Scream fan film, The Ghostface, which is almost done. Um, and today's video is, uh, is a, a review of the original 1996 Scream. 1996 the original scream movie the one that started it all um this movie pretty much um did what halloween did in the late 70s and shit you know it fucking it um it revitalized the 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 horror genre you know the slasher genre you know it gave it, it, it gave it a breath of fresh air you know michael myers you know before that you had like you had like uh frankenstein and and creature feature movies and stuff yeah you had texas chainsaw massacre but that was just an outlier that was like you know, that that was like proto to what Halloween was going to do. Also, Black Christmas and stuff. Uh, Halloween just did everything better, you know? And that's what Scream did in the 90s, you know? Because as you know, in the late 80s towards like the early mid 90s, horror was just uh, in, a, in a weird bad spot, you know? It was just, it, they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't know where to go at that point and shit, you know? Um, like Halloween 5 was a, was a failure. Halloween 6 was a failure. Um... The, those uh what is it the, the, the texas chainsaw massacre 3 came out i think the year i was born it was, didn't even do that great i think leather yeah i think that one leatherface 3 um and the horror genre was just in a weird spot you know until um what is it scream ghostface you know wes craven kevin williamson until that movie came out then it, it gave it it gave the horror genre a whole new like a whole new breath of fresh air like halloween did in the in the in the late 70s and in the in the and then in the 80s you had jason and freddy now you know too same thing you know scream gave life to new a new uh, version of horror you know like uh well not a new version uh who done it and mystery movies have always been around too you know but um this time it involved teens more you know people in high school and college age young adults you know in the 20s or like early 30s and stuff so that's that's what made it more appealing to younger people of that generation you know that it had to do with young people pretty much and one of those young people was one of the ones wearing a cloak with the mask killing everyone you know remember after scream came out there was i know you did last summer that was that that was written by kevin williamson as well you know but it was also an original story that he retweaked for the 90s um that um uh, urban legend the faculty all those movies all those movies oh what else um even movies like not another teen movie and stuff like that they all have like sort of like uh like scary movie they all have they all have like horror reference and stuff you know and it has to do with a group of young people and that was the hot thing back then it was like a cool group of young hit people and one of one or two of them are fucking psychos at the end you know that's so cool um yeah and scream it was cool i, re I really love scream the first time i watched it i was probably like six or seven or something like that um i watched it with uh a couple friends neighbors that we used to have back in the day in the 90s and then i watched it with my dad and my family and then i watched it with my cousins too and dude it was just michael myers and stuff i had already seen halloween and stuff and michael was cool too but when i watched scream it it, it was just different dude it was different because it, this you could literally be ghostface you know you could just get a ghostface costume and get a knife and do the same thing he's doing you know or she um screen uh yeah and um fell in love first time i saw you know the opening scene with casey becker probably one of the best openings in horror in my opinion um what is it um uh, uh what is it neb campbell neb campbell's a great lead you know she's very charismatic and awesome uh skeet ulrich and uh matthew lillard kill it as billy and Stu. and then spoiler alert if you haven't seen this movie it's been out for almost 30 years but they're the killers at the end they're probably like they have probably like one of the best killer reveals in the franchise honestly think so because they didn't even have to like pull off the mask or anything like everyone else later they they just reveal themselves and sydney figures it out you know it's it's she just figures it out with them holding the same knife 
them tossing back and forth the voice changer you know making the ghost ghost face voice then she just figures it out that and that's much more awesome than like in later movies like scream 2 scream 3 scream 4 and the rest of them where everyone literally pulls off the mask yes i was the killer like some scooby-doo stuff you know um what is it the soundtrack is awesome to the movie the score is great um directed by wes craven awesome director rest in peace written by kevin williamson and supposedly uh he based it on on the Gainesville Ripper or something like that, which I've looked it up and I've seen a true crime documentary on it, but I, I sometimes don't really can't connect how Scream connects to that. But I guess Scream is still awesome though. Um, what else? Um, um, the party scene is great. You know, I really love party scenes in horror movies, and Scream and Scream just did it badass. They did it badass. Um, they had so many characters that you could relate to. You know, like. A lot of these characters, especially in the original Scream, um, they were re they were really well written, and it felt like you know you it felt like you knew someone similar to that, you know, you knew someone similar to that in your real life, you know, like Randy was that geek who's always talking about movies and pop culture and stuff like that. A Stu was that crazy freaking goofy, crazy you know oddball dude. Like, um, what else? Uh, Billy's that good looking dude and shit that's just hanging out, you know, getting all the chicks. Um, Tatum, the hot blonde chick, obviously almost everyone knows some hot blonde chick, you know, um, and some, some basic looking girl like Sydney, you know, every, the character archetypes were so, were like so spot on in the nineties because in the nineties people, yeah, a lot of people dressed like to impress and stuff, but people just wore, wore clothes just to wear them, you know, so she wouldn't be walking around naked you know and sydney's a good representation of that because she dresses so like 90s she's her hair's just long kind of grunge in a way like kind of gothy in a way too with the big ass gray sweater that she wears um tatum's obviously like the more popular girl so she's gonna have like the the skirts and all that stuff going on um ghost face let's talk about the look of ghost face in this uh this is the first movie the best dude probably the best he looks like i, I love that in the first screen his robe is like shredded at the bottom. It's it's so awesome. It, it's he's he looks like a witch in that movie. And literally, he is a he in this movie because it was two two male killers in this in the original one. Um, he looks so awesome in this movie. He, his his like I said, his robe is shredded at the bottom like a witch. His mask it's uh what the Gen One I think, and it just looks so great the way it's shaped and like how white it looks the sparkly robe oh dude the first time i saw that robe on screen oh it was just awesome dude the way it sparkled and stuff and then i got one from fun world and i was like damn dude the one the movie looks way better but it's still cool um what else um a lot of the kills in the movie were awesome even though they were basic pretty much just knife hacks but those are always fun to shoot too i just you know when we make our own fan films i'd have enough fun just filming stabbing scenes alone you know um, though the best creative scene was uh, Tatum's death scene though the garage that, that, that was uh, that's very unrealistic people say that that can't happen but it's still awesome scene right first time I saw it as a kid I was like whoa what the fuck and then uh, yeah like I said the look of Ghostface also like me and my friend after watching the movie back in the 90s like we talked about it, I was like yeah dude Ghostface well before we knew he was called Ghostface we used to call him Scream and I was like dude Scream looks so cool and my and my home and my homie back then was like yeah he's so badass right with his hood and he's just like that oh man best look ever like I said best look ever um probably the one of the best casts ever in any scream movie it's just like um the the, the cast in scream the original 96 scream is probably the best depiction of what teenagers were like and looked like back in the day if you notice looking back in those days teenagers used to look older anyway you know because i hear a lot of people saying oh the first cast in the first scream movie of 96 look like college age yes that's right that's right, because back in the day, a lot of teenagers did look older. A lot of high schoolers did look older. They looked kind of college age back then. You know, when I was like seven, I first saw this movie six, I was watching it with people that were in high school at that time. And they looked like 20 something to me. They looked like they were like 20 something already, but they were, they were like literally like 17, 18, 16 only, you know, but they, they, they literally looked like 20 something. And to me, that explains in the continuity of the movie why they looked a little bit older than, you know, kids now um so yeah b best depiction of teenagers and how they dressed and looked and acted in the 90s um 
uh, best depiction of pop culture pretty much in, uh, in 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 Scream. You know, it's all about pop culture in these movies, especially the first one. Yeah, it's uh, the the original tagline. Remember, someone has taken their love of scary movies one step too far. It was all about just movies. These these guys were literally, in, even though the motive later kind of contradicts that, but. Uh, these guys were literally inspired you know they they wanted to make a scary movie they wanted the thrill of living in a town where there's a serial killer you know and 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 it could be anyone anywhere you know they wanted that thrill so it makes you think we're we're, we're billy and Stu really in it for the i mean well obviously Stu it was in it for the for the fun because he even says it in the movie but billy billy's like a kind of like a weird position because he has a motive but he's still a horror movie fan you know so to me i always wonder did he really care that his dad that I mean that his dad cheated on on his mom with Sydney's mom or did he just want an excuse just to you know have the thrill of a horror movie cliche going around in the town he lives so he could live all those cliches in real life you know that's what I always think about with Scream the first one um let me see uh what else what else great director like I said in the beginning he was the best R.I.P. um Let's see, the way it was shot, perfect. It looked so realistic. The film looked great. Um, the acting was great. Obviously, it felt it felt like a real real movie. You know, it felt like it was. The, here's the magic of movies back then. They felt like reality because they weren't so HD yet. The cameras and stuff. So it was all film back then. So it literally sometimes felt like it was really happening. You know, um, the ending, especially the ending of Scream when they. When Gail's right there giving her news report, then you see the meta, the, like the whole meta ness of it, where um, where she, where you see the camera, her camera crew following her into the house as she's doing the news report. You know that that gave it like a very realistic like feeling, like holy shit, you know this could happen. Uh, let me see, I forgot to mention another kill that I loved in this movie. Um, was when Randy's uh, well, not a kill, but it was like a like a potential kill that could happen. Was when Randy's right there chilling on the couch. Look behind you, Jamie. Look behind you. Uh, that was awesome. And Ghostface is about to stab him until he hears Sydney screaming, so he decides to take off after her instead. I always felt like Ghostface, even though uh, Stu and uh, Billy kind of punked on Randy, I always felt in a way that they kind of respected him in a way though, because he knew all the tropes he knew all the rules in a way if they would have kept randy's character alive uh in later movies i would have kind of wanted to see him as a ghost face probably you know because he knew pretty much all the rules you know he knew all the rules so wh wh why wouldn't he become one himself you know maybe try to take out other ghost faces but that didn't happen yeah but i like i said though i felt like they kind of had a respect for him they kind of hesitated to kill him because you know Stu first is about to stab him, you know, behind the couch. And then Billy shoots him in the shoulder where he could have shot him anywhere right there in that moment. In the face, in the in the heart. But he shoots him, like, in the shoulder, in the arm area right here. So, like I'm saying, I don't know. I feel they kind of had this weird respect for Randy since he was kind of, like, on par with them. He just wasn't a killer yet. He had a potential, though. Um, let me see. I, I, I like all the red herrings in the movie. I like how they show people's boots, you know, that's very, that, that's something you don't really see in later movies. You see it in Scream 2 and Scream 3, but you don't really see that in Scream 4 anymore. Like by Scream 4, they didn't really show like people's boots and stuff to kind of like give you the, the idea that it could be anyone, you know. By Scream 4, everyone's wearing their own just regular shoes, you know, just Vans or Converse, everyone's, you know, kind of different style. I guess people in the 90s and early 2000s kind of wore more similar styles, probably because of that too. <clears throat> let me see um it was a bloody movie the ending is bloody i love the bloody the bloodiness of scream 1996 it's it's a bloody movie it's my favorite at the end i heard it was going to be even more bloody but um west craven was going to end up getting a what is it an x rating or something like that for too much blood so he had to cut down a little bit of the blood uh, there, there was supposed to be a lot of more blood on Stu apparently um principal hembry all the fawns when he dies, oh, dude, that's crazy. That that was a that, that that one took me by surprise. That one, I I just thought it was some some kind of joke thing going on in the movie, but yeah, when he gets stabbed and killed, that took me by surprise. How they hung Casey on the on the tree was also awesome, and how they gutted her boyfriend Stephen North, that was also awesome. That shit was brutal. <laughs> that was disgusting, you know, all that stuff coming out like the entrails and stuff. <clears throat> how Kenny the cameraman gets like. Oh, that's right, too. How huh? Kenny gets his throat slashed so nicely. Like this. With the knife. 
He's telling Sydney to go. He's like, go. So he's just right there. Boom. Cuts his freaking throat nice and clean. He starts bleeding out. Go on. And, and then they throw him on top. Well, they don't show that. But later when Gail gets in the van and the 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 front windshield starts oozing out blood. Um, that, that was awesome. And then she drives off in Kenny. And she's like, sorry, that dude falls off the edge of the van. His body. Um, and then she almost gets killed too by Billy Loomis. Uh, she shoots him though at the end on the like around the heart area, and <clears throat> Sydney ends up popping him in the forehead and he gets killed. He dies. Um, Randy survives too. Also, Dewey survives his uh getting stabbed in the back by Ghostface. Um, yeah, overall it's a it, it's a great it's a great slasher movie. It was a great revitalization to the to the slasher genre that was in dire dire need of help in the in the early 90s you know and by the late 90s you had all these different scream style teen movies you know valentine's day and all that stuff too you know all, all the almost every poster even if it wasn't a horror movie had the the people uh you know like you know how scream has the roll call of everyone like sydney in the center and then everyone else behind there a, a lot of movie posters even then they weren't horror were doing that trope too you know of like having the main character in the center and every the whole roll call of actors you know right there uh yeah awesome time the 90s were awesome i loved scream 96 it, it was it was the most realistic scream movie you know it, it, it felt like it could really happen in real life it, it felt like the most realistic honestly out of all of them and it, later down the line they, they by scream 2 they started getting too hollywood you know but scream 96 was kind of like a cool like it, it it almost felt like an indie movie to me, kind of an independent film, you know, in a way. Although it wasn't, but it kind of felt like one. Although they had a high budget, but I think their budget got bigger towards Scream 2. But yeah, it, yeah, they they got too Hollywood later on, you know. But it, I still I still love all the Scream movies. But like I said, this one holds a very special place in my heart, as well as Scream 4 also, which we'll review later. Um, yeah, but this this is the first like um. Uh, like horror movie that I saw that made me want to have a bunch of friends, you know, you know, it just, you know, it, it made having a whole group of friends seem cool, you know, um, it made horror, it, it made horror, what Scream did was, um, it made horror, not horror movies and, and pop culture and comics and all that stuff. It, it, it made it be cool, not just to nerds and geeks, but also to like, the cool people you know like the cool people in the in crowd at school you know like the jock type people the cheerleaders you know now it was cool for them to be into you know nerdy stuff and that's the scream 96 basically opened up the door for yeah it was just a um a big major uh shift in culture you know where being into be, being being heavily into something or collecting stuff doesn't make you like a straight up nerd anymore you know it, it actually makes you kind of cool like now I look at instagram everyone that collects and stuff has a gang of likes and follows you know it's it's the same thing you know it, it opened up the door for for the for the cool people you know the it made it it made it okay for the cool like like i said earlier jock type people to be like oh yeah i collect too you know uh, oh yeah i i'm into horror too oh yeah i like michael myers too it made it okay for them to admit it you know and no one judging anymore you know but before that, it was mainly just a nerd thing. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, thanks again a lot. Thanks a lot again, Hollywood Horror Film Club, for joining me here on the channel on another video. This time for Scream 1996 movie review. Remember, like I always say, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos, videos here on the channel. Um, hit the comments below and share these videos with everyone you know. Uh, so we could keep making more horror content here on the channel and like I said in the beginning We're gonna start getting very very scream here on the channel. So next review is gonna be scream 2 That'll be coming up soon. Catch y'all next time